Hi everyone, welcome. I just wanted to sneak in and do a quick little color along on this cute page. Um, I did a um, snow globe in Johanna Basford's Christmas book. Mine has paint on the front. And I got lots of great feedback and a couple people asking me how I did the glitter snow effect on the inside. So I thought I would just go ahead and kind of um, do a quick little share. I'm not going to color the whole dog or anything, but I will do the inside of the globe so you can get an idea of how I did it. Um, the colors or the brand of pencils are not important. The main thing you will need is a dark, medium, light and you can use your light to blend, or you can have a blender pencil, or you can use a white. It is up to you. Um, and then as we get that kind of filled in, I will talk about a little bit different ways to do the background. There are lots of ways to make snow globes effective, and it just depends on what you want to use and what you want to go for. So I am going to have to turn this page a little bit as I go, but I am hoping um, you'll be able to see. I printed it fairly large for that reason. Um, I guess I should also tell you who this is. <laughs> Goodness. This artist is Bev Kimber. She's a new to me and she's a sweetheart. She um, is starting an Etsy shop, Little Chibli's, and she also has a Facebook group and this is a freebie on it. Um, so I will link all her stuff down below. We can show her a little love this Christmas season. She has, like I said, she does cute little chibi type style pages and whatnot and she has quite a few freebies out there she's very generous so I thank her for letting me color this page and sharing it with everybody and we will get started so my dark color I'm gonna pick is peacock blue and of course I'm using my prismas because those are what I am comfortable with but like I said as long as you have a dark medium and light and I'm actually going to do this a little different I just realized when you are doing your snow snow globes, if I could talk, that would be awesome. You want to leave a little gap around the edge. So don't do what I just did right off the bat on video. That's awesome. Don't do that. Um, you kind of want to leave a little circle all the way around your snow globe. And it just kind of helps it give that globey circle effect. So, um, and I will go around with a gel pen. So the fact that I colored real close to the edge won't be too big of a deal but I do want to remember going around to leave that edge so I want to try to keep it the same all the way around like I said I will go over it with gel pen so it's not too big of a deal or you could even do your lightest color at the end, go and kind of blend it out. I am going to put a little dark on the side of the glare. And then I'm going to leave a little dark there. And then same, same thing. Just leave a nice little white line. I think I want to fix up this spot right here just a little bit. That's better. And then if you feel like it's gotten wider as you go, you can fix that too. So that is how we're going to do our dark color. And then you want to leave your fuzzy edge to blend, of course, just like everything we do. That fuzzy edge. Blend, blend, blend. So I'm going to pull dark, pull light toward the center. Trying to make sure you can see it's hard to do. Hand in hand, but I hope everyone is having a great December. We haven't got too much snow here. We got a little bit the other day and then it was like we got 80 mile an hour winds for two days after it and like all the snow just blew away. So no snow here again. We actually, um, 
I'm in Wyoming, for those of you that don't know, and we usually are known for our bitter cold winters and lots of snow because we are mountains. But the last couple years, it's just been weird. It has not happened. And I pulled the wrong glue that I want, so give me one second to dig the right one out. Hopefully it won't be too loud. Got all my little pencils tucked in a corner over here. Um, so last year we actually bought our kids inflatable sleds and then it never snowed, so they are still brand new in the box. And it is not looking like this year is going to be any better. Okay, so this is my medium blue. Um, if you are following along in Prismas, this is non-photo blue, but like I said, any combinations of blue will do. Um, I think I originally got this color combination from Color with Claire on her snow globe tutorial, and then I just kind of tweaked it to what I liked, which is usually what I do. I like to, you know, I watch. I watched Claire for a long time and followed her, and then I kind of just tweaked her things to fit how I like them. I do the same with others too. But it's great to kind of follow along and learn the steps and then turn it into your own. Works great. Okay, so now I'm just kind of leaving that fuzzy edge. And you really want to be sure you are um, filling your space evenly. You do not want a huge gap of dark blue and then a tiny little light blue in the middle. You want your sections to be gradually even and blended so we don't have anything too wild. No big segments. So I'm just going to go right around this glare. And I will, I like that she puts the glare in. That helps a lot. Some of them, you kind of have to do it yourself. And it's, it's not hard, but it definitely is easier um, to get the full effect when they are already put in for you. Okay, so making sure that I go back to the dark. And that these colors are blending. And you'll, you might see a couple spots where your dark is not looking as vibrant all the way around. You can just go back and add a little more pencil. And then come back in with your same color. So yeah, um... We got to see Santa a couple times. I haven't got any pictures with him yet. My daughter, anyway. I don't do a lot of sitting on Santa's lap, but my daughter usually loves going to see Santa. For some reason this year, she's like, nope, I don't want nothing to do with it. So we'll see. I think, I don't know if I'll force it or not. This year just feels so weird and... I'm not very Christmassy, so <laughs> um, I do have a super cute picture of her one year, though. We waited in line forever, and she ended up falling asleep before she got to see Santa. Um, so we just put her on Santa's lap while she was sleeping. It was so cute. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my lighter color and this one is going to be cloud blue and this side actually is looking like it's coming in a little further than this one so I think I'm just going to pull this fuzz out just a little bit more very light 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 butterfly kisses just keeping that roundness don't want to make the snow globe look oblong or anything like that. Okay, that looks better. Okay. And then I'm just going to blend. And this part does take a little bit of time and a little bit of patience because you've got a back blend. So not only are you blending this color with the last color you put out, but you are using it to blend all the way over to that peacock blue that you first put on. So we are just going to blend, blend, blend. 
Now, there are a couple different ways and preferences of doing this part. Um, so some people will pull, pull this blue all the way in. And I, I do have a couple snow globes done. Um, and depending on what you're doing, like what is in your snow globe, I think kind of depends on how you want the effect. And I'm going to color right over these reindeer, but I will come back with my eraser and they will be black again. So I am not going to stress on it right now. I'm just going to color them. Now, depending on your printer and your paper, you want to be careful coloring over things like that because they will smear. I have fixative on mine because I planned on glittering and all kinds of things. So I knew it was going to be a mixed media project when I printed. So I did spray mine with Krylon fixative and let it dry for a while before I started this color along. Alright, so we're just pulling that all the way around. I want a very, very blended feel. So I'm just trying to make sure that I got rid of all the lines if I can. Now comes the part of evening out. So this is the very light butterfly kisses. And I'm just trying to even out. Even though it's kind of hard to see, I still want to keep the round. The round is important. And even. So, you know, it's this thick on this side. I want it this thick on this side. And it's looking good. I'm trying to make sure sometimes things look... A little different on camera so I'm trying to make sure it's looking okay I want to make sure even though that it's a little disguised by the reindeer that it is still blended well so just work in that blend work and work in that blend like I said, you ever feel like you don't have enough color? Go back and add a layer. And it is kind of a back and forth process till you get what you're going for. Okay, so for the middle of this, this I want my pup here to be the center of attention. So we wanna make sure we don't um, kind of color over him or cloud him up. Much, but sorry, I have a super loud pencil sharpener. So I'm taking my sky blue light and I am just going to. Oh, I got a little red on my tip from somewhere. Not good. So I'll have to erase that spot out. No idea where I picked red up at. Sometimes these pencils, I love my Prisma colors, but I have a gray like this too. I was coloring and coloring the brick wall and I was going along great and I sharpened it and I went to put the pencil back to the paper and it had a big O streak of a different color. I'm like, what the heck did I just do? All right, so just filling in around this pup a little bit. I'm going to get lighter as I go. I don't want this dark spot right here either. And if you do have a couple rough spots, don't worry too much about it. I mean, if you're going to add glitter or anything 
to it or a whole bunch of white dots for snow, it's not going to be that noticeable anyway. We can always put dots over the spots that are blended so well and you'll be fine. All right, so I just threw my eraser on the floor. I am liking how that looks. Okay, so I did not dig my white gel pen out before I started this video. I don't know what I was thinking. I was going to show you a couple different ways to do the background. So one is you can take your white. I'm just going to pull a new white gel pen real quick so I don't, you don't have to hear me dig through my pencils. Okay, so... I just want to blend this blue out a little. I feel like it's kind of harsh in some spots. I really want that rounded. Okay, that makes me feel better. I'm not sure it's over here. Okay, so you can take your gel pen, and this is great because she kind of gives you an idea of where to put the dots. Make sure your gel pen works. Um, I am jumping on the Arteza bus. I do love these Arteza white gel pens more than the Signo Uniball or the Jelly Rolls. So out of these three pens, um, the Arteza is my favorite. And I've almost used one whole pen, so I feel like I am qualified to finally make that judgment. So that's all you do. And you can even add some wherever you want. Now I first, and I'm going to glitter everything because that's the effect someone requested to see, but I just kind of wanted to show you if you wanted to do snow, that's just how you would put it in. And it may look like it won't show in some of these lighter spots, but you still want to put that dot in because it will. When you get everything done and colored that dot will make a difference so okay so I'm just gonna kind of smooth that out with my finger a little bit and I'm just gonna fill in this right over this black line that she drew in I want that glare to stay there but I don't want the black line to stay with it we are hiding it. Hiding our black lines. And you might have to do it a couple times. Always let your first layer dry before you go back again. You really want to stay going one direction with your gel pen because if you go back and forth you will get these scratchy marks like this that I'm trying to avoid. But this pen there we go you must have had just a little piece of wax blocking it just right now it's going I will have to let a couple of these spots dry and probably go over them again, but so we got the glare done, got that done for the fun part. Now, any glue you like, any glitter you like, as I'm throwing stuff all over the floor and I'm shaking my glitter instead of let me find my actual snow globe glitter. Oh, there it is. Now you can mix colors. You can add snowflakes. You can add blue to it. It is really however you want to feel. Whatever you want to do. Before I do this, though, remember anything you put your glue over is going to become permanent. So... You kind of want to have everything how you want it before you put your glitter on. Um, usually I would color the puppy first and then glitter so that when I'm coloring him I don't rub it off. But um, I'm not going to color him in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and do the glitter first. But just be aware that if you do that and then color him your hand might rub off your glitter. 
Oh, that's right. I threw my eraser on the floor. One second. I'm trying not to bump and whatnot. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure that I got all the pencil marks off my reindeer. And I might even go in... And just touch them up with a pen. I need my fat pen. Just to make sure they stay nice and dark. Again, personal preference and be careful that your ink is dry when you put your glue or it will smear your ink. Um, a lot of glitter and glue and embellishing is patience. Patience, patience. A lot of drying time. Um, sometimes when I am on an embellishing kick, I will have a few projects going at a time. That way, when this one's drying, I can work on this one. And when this one's drying, I can't wait for everyone to see my completed pages this month. I have not got a whole lot done, but the ones I have done, I'm very proud of. So, very excited for that video. Okay, I use good old Elmer's clear glue. Nothing fancy, no smell, and I scored mine for 39 cents. So, even better. So, if you have a Dollar Tree, um, they also sell glitter. There is chunky glitter, if that is your style, or there is the very fine glitter and this is Walmart um, crystal diamond I'm almost out I'm gonna be due for some more glitter so I know this looks kind of sloppy but I'm gonna put a couple dots everywhere and then because I want a really nice effect I want to make sure I get real close to this puppy and then all the way out to the edges as well now if your fingers are dirty or have any kind of black the glue will pick it up so you kind of want to do it with clean fingers or your glue is going to be colored so we are just going to hold on one second all right sorry about that I had a kid wake up <laughs> okay so I'm just hitting a couple spots you do have to be kind of quick you don't want your glue to dry and then I don't know how everybody feels about this whole thing, but I, using fingers, I know is some people's not favorite. Um, but I really like to make sure I am. And if you want to do little sections at a time, you know, put your glue on, glitter it, put your glue on, glitter it, that works great too. And then I'm just going to shake it everywhere. And yes, it's overkill, but I put my glare back in. But this is where I find the important part kicks in. You want to push it into that glue with your finger. You don't just want to hope for the best that it sticks. And if you feel like you don't have any glue, if you missed a spot, take your bottle, put some glue, rub it down, shake your glitter over it. But you really do, you want to push that glitter in there. That really makes a huge difference, I've noticed, in it staying on your paper. Some people have a little bit of a glitter aversion because after a while it starts to come off your paper and whatever. Um, but if you use enough glue and you push it in, it will stay. It does stay. In my experience, anyway, I guess. So yeah, there is that. And then you can always still add your white dots, um, your snowflakes. I think on this image, I'm going to shake him off a little. And you can see where I've missed a little. So I'm going to kind of hit those spots with some more glue. Okay. Sorry if you can hear the voices, those are my neighbors outside. It's usually fairly quiet, but you know, every time you try to record, you gotta have something going on. 
which it didn't expect. Okay, so just adding in that glitter there, pushing it down. Um, it is really not a big waste of glitter like it looks. It just takes a little bit of kind of playing with and moving around. You get everything how you want it. Um, so I always, that's probably really loud on camera, but I usually scoop it up with my paper and put my excess back in the jar so there's not a lot of waste. You want to make sure you don't have glue on your fingers or more glue will stick to your fingers than to the glue on the paper. So wet spot right there. There we go. That's great. Okay. So I don't know if 100% I want to stick these snowflakes on there yet, but I will show you. Um, they're pretty white. I don't think they're going to show up all that well. So you can color these blue if you want to use them. Or, like I said, if you use a blue glitter, they will show up. Okay, let me clear this up real quick. Oops, got a couple of snowflakes in here. Put this back in the jar. Clean that up after. Okay, so for the little pile of snow he's sitting on, um, I'm going to pull something different. Off my little craft shelf. So I have this craft shelf that sits here and it's just full of all kinds of random goodies I have collected that I don't know if I will ever use. So I have this, which is like cellophane, shredded cellophane. And I have this, which is called Fox Snow. And I'm pretty sure this was not intended for coloring projects, but it is now. So the thing you have to decide is if you want this snow underneath to have a little bit of color, you have to color it first. You cannot put your snow on and then hope for the best. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just add a little color and this will all blend out a little bit here. I want to give him a little bit of a shadow. Um, snow is always whiter towards the top. In colored snow, we usually put our darker colors and shadows toward the bottom and blend up to white as we get toward the top where the fresh snow is. So the same theory is going to apply. And I'm doing the same colors on the globe. I don't want to introduce any new colors. use this color and blend it out. And I have glitter everywhere, so I probably should have dipped this first. Got excited! I'm going to have glitter everywhere for days. That's okay. I love glitter. It makes it's fun. It's just fun. Usually when my daughter is up, she will uh, glitter some of her own projects while we work too. And then we really have, it looks like a glitter bomb went off. I like that one saying that says if one person is working with glitter at the table on a project, everybody is working with glitter. <laughs> Very true. Okay, so I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a ton of glue. Very, a dot does not do in this kind of glitter project. Throw that rule out the window. A dot of glue will not do. Okay, getting all your edges real close to your pup. Okay, and I think I'm going to do the fox snow. I think it's going to look the best. So I'm just going to pinch. Same thing. I stopped recording for some reason, but hopefully it's all on here. And I will just mesh these two videos together. 
I forget that it does that at a half hour of end every time, no matter what setting I have it on. So we are just pushing the fox snow down. Now, if you want a mount a mound of snow look, um, you put one layer down, push it down, let it dry, let it dry. Have the patience. Let it dry. Um, add a little more glue on top and repeat the process. Okay, so I know it looks wild right now, but before I wipe anything off or shake my paper, I just want to let it dry a little bit. I want to make sure I've got everything kind of drying and setting before I shake it off. So I know you can't really see the effect right now, but we're going to give it a minute. And while that's drying, maybe I will look for a different snowflake. A different color snowflake. That is one bright side of having an inventory. I have a bad habit of buying things even if I don't need them at the time. So when stuff like this happens, I have a backup plan. Um, we could do... You could do blue little pearly snowflakes you liked how those looked, if you felt like those looked like snowflakes falling down. I have some blue snowflakes in here somewhere. I just have to find them while that's drying. Um, Dollar Tree, and a lot of people don't know, if you go down the scrapbook aisle at Walmart, they have a lot of stuff for 97 cents. They have jewels, they have stickers, they have um, iron-on transfers. They have washi tape, scotch washi tape. It's not a dollar, but it is, well, in my Walmart, I should say, it is in that section. Um, I didn't even know my store had washi tape until I found that apartment. So, always good, good to know. There are lots of hidden places to find things. Our Walmart, I think, is one of the last ones that finally got the remodel with the new floors and the new craft department and whatnot, so we are finally getting to the cool stuff, which is neat. Um, gotta love living in a small country town. I don't know where those blue snowflakes are. those later if I need them. Okay. okay, and it's gonna look a little messy because this fox snow is um, it stands off the paper taller than the glitter does. but it wipes right off. If there's no glue holding it down or you don't want it there, like I don't want his feet buried, just push it down a little and push it down. So that is how I do my snow globes. And I think it looks pretty good. I am going to add a few more white dots to the background to make the snow look like it's actually coming down. And I think it looks pretty good. Um, there's a spot right there I might need to hit with the glitter again. And that's the thing, when it dries you will be able to see your bare spots a little better. But So I will link Miss Bev and all her, um, her group and her Etsy shop down in the comments below. I hope everyone had a great time hanging out with me. Um, questions? Comments, leave them down below. Suggestions on content you would like to see would be awesome, especially coming into the new year. Um, I know I don't do a lot of hauls and things like the other girls do, so I'm a little behind on that type of video. But I thank everyone for watching, new and old subscribers, and I hope to see you next video.